First, at 6 o'clock tonight, the U.S. Supreme Court sides with Oklahoma and says the state can prosecute people who are non-tribal who commit crimes against tribal members on tribal land. Thank you for joining us. I'm Lori Fulbright. And I'm Craig Day. That authority had been taken away from the state after the 2020 McGirt ruling. Alex Cameron is following the story from our News on 6 Washington Bureau. McCurt determined that Congress never disestablished the original reservations of the Creek, Cherokee, Choctaw, Chickasaw, and Seminole nations. That hasn't changed. What does change is who has the authority to prosecute crimes in those jurisdictions. Two months after attorneys representing Oklahoma argued the state is entitled to at least share criminal jurisdiction in Indian country, a bare majority of the court agreed. Justice Kavanaugh writing on their behalf. The court today holds that Indian country within a state's territory is part of a state, not separate from a state. Therefore, a state has jurisdiction to prosecute crimes committed in Indian country unless state jurisdiction is preempted. And Kavanaugh asserts there are no preemptions. But fellow conservative Justice Neil Gorsuch couldn't see it more differently, authoring the minority's blistering dissent. The court's suggestion that Oklahoma enjoys inherent authority to try crimes against Native Americans within Indian country makes a mockery of all of Congress's work from 1834 to 1968. Truly, a more ahistorical and mistaken statement of Indian law would be hard to fathom. Bye, bye, bye. The decision got little attention from abortion rights protesters outside the court today, but in Oklahoma, Attorney General John O'Connor greeted the ruling as an important first step in restoring law and order in our great state. Senator Lankford said today's decision enables Oklahoma state and local law enforcement and our Oklahoma courts to work with our friends and neighbors in tribal government. But tribal governments don't necessarily see that as a good thing. One saying it hands jurisdictional responsibility in these cases to the state, which during its long pre McGirt history of illegal jurisdiction on our reservation routinely failed to deliver justice for Native victims. At the U.S. Supreme Court, I'm Oklahoma's own Alex Cameron.